Hello folks, uh, today I have come up with a question of 2020, October, November, paper 1-1 one, one, and the question number is 35. Uh, this question missed my attention for a long time, I don't know why, because it it's often happens. Maybe I procrastinated it because of some, uh, uh, some uh, twisting language or maybe I did not uh, see it at all. But one student uh, of mine in a certain college that I teach, he asked me uh, from Facebook and uh, when I looked at it, uh, I found that uh, I haven't dealt with it. So, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, start. So, it belongs to the chapter Current Literacy and it's number 35. So, you can see the page number 18 from the exam. It says, in the circuits shown, in the circuits shown, the power supply has an electromotive force EMF, which we write as E greater than the normal operating voltage of the lamp so let us say we name it as v normal v normal and it says that it says that this e factor is e is more than v normal v normal or i can say vice versa v normal is equal to is a less than this e less than this e the inner resistance of the power supply is negligible it has been given to make things easier the resistance of the variable resistor is adjusted from zero to its maximum value. So we have a variable resistor in all the cases. So we can adjust it from zero to its particular maximum value. In which circuit could the voltage across the lamp change from zero to its normal operating voltage? So it goes from zero to this. Could, it says could. Could means uh, there is a chance that its voltage change from zero to this, zero to this. And not exceed so the voltage across this uh, lamp uh, this voltage across the lamp let us say this is VL let me say this uh, VL should not exceed should not exceed uh, this uh, V normal this VL should not exceed this uh, V normal so let us see let us uh, explore one by one let us explore one by one so our V uh, across the lamp is somewhat like this now almost uh, all these circuits uh, somehow behave like uh, voltage divider circuits. So let's uh, do like this. Uh, let me say this: uh, the resistance of this variable resistor is right now zero. Right now it is zero. If it is zero, it is our short circuit from here to here. It's a short circuit from here to here. So when I arrange it, let me arrange it like this. Uh, so this is the power source, power source here, and. Uh, it comes like this since it is zero here I just like to do like this zero then it comes here uh, it comes to the lamp this is the lamp like this I am arranging in a different way lamp uh, this is the points where the lamp is connected and here I have the resistor here resistor and the VL is this VL is this now what happens is if I reduce this thing to zero volt, if I reduce this thing to zero volt, zero volt, all the EMF E here, all the EMF E here will appear across the VL because there is no other source of loss of potential. So all the potential this VL will be equal to L. So in this case, this VL is equal to E. And this E is right now more than V normal. So that's why VL is more than V normal. If you make it zero. So in this case, so this case is not favorable. Now let me go through this choice number C as well. So let us uh, convert this thing also to voltage divider. So it is like this, like this, it comes like this. Again, the same approach. So this is the rheostat. Let us say this is the rheostat. And this is the lamp, this is the lamp. Do like this. Now when I reduce this to zero, when I reduce this to zero, it becomes just a shortcut short circuit so this is e here all of this e will appear across here this is vl here also all this e will appear across this vl if this is just a shortcut short circuit voltage divider the voltage here is zero so all voltage should appear here so that's in this case also if i make it zero then vl is equal to e which is more than this v normal again here in this case uh, let me arrange this thing like this so this is the uh, source source from here it goes like this from here it goes like this it is just the lamp here 
lamp here and then we have got this thing variable register here like this now what happens here is here it is e whatever be the value of this resistance here since we have no resistance here and no resistance here the voltage here this which is v l across the lamp will be equal to e whatever be the value of this thing v l will be equal to e so v l will be equal to e that means v l will be more than this uh, uh, v normal so this also not okay this also not okay because we have to have this uh, uh, v across the lamp lamp change from zero to normal could be zero to normal but not exceed so in all these things it exceeds now let's look here so we have this thing here source we have this resistor here resistor then we have the lamp here then we have the variable resistor here like this now if i have to calculate this vl here this vl is according to voltage value theorem this is e here this is some sort of let us say vr then our vl will be equal to it will be equal to this whole rl rl is this whole resistance whole resistance rl uh, plus uh, sorry divided by this r plus uh, uh, r plus rl r is this resistor into e so in this case what we can have is this vl is definitely less than e at any value of this thing at any value of this resistor this thing variable resistor we can have vl is less than e at any any value of this uh, this is a variable resistor so that's why vl less than e means there's a chance that there's a chance that this uh, uh, this thing can be so v normal also less than e vl also less than e so there's a chance that vl can be equal to there's a chance that vl can be equal to v normal in this case so that's why choice number b should be the correct choice so there's a chance that vl is equal to v normal in this case because vl less than e and v normal also less than e so there's a chance it's not exactly certain but there's a chance but in these th three cases there is no chance at all so this uh, choice number b addresses the theme of the question could could means chance Thank you.